Today we need to get into people saying that Jungkook might be a bit depressed in the military and where that's coming from. We need to get into a video that he actually liked over on TikTok, people saying that it's a specific message that we need to acknowledge and that we have some potentially damaging clips and photos that we can talk about today. So hey Dom, this is Dave Desai. Hey or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Make sure you join us fangirling on Patreon and let's go. Now the first thing that I want to talk about is a clip or a photo that was recently trending that sort of feeds into a fantasy. Now I don't want to say that this is a horrible thing, but there are people who consider these types of things damaging. Now I'm not going to show the original post or what the person said because I genuinely don't believe that this is a bad thing. I do believe that some people have taken it into a bad thing and have come up with their own potentially negative opinions on this. So what happened and what's going on? Recently a fan posted on Twitter that they would love to see a Jungkook wearing a specific type of outfit and they ended up showing a corset lingerie outfit and it was a photo of someone who was wearing a blazer and then inside they had a corset and people were saying that this would look amazing on Jungkook. Now this isn't the first time that the idea of a corset is brought up with Jungkook and the reason why is because he has worn a corset before and so people want to play with this idea that he can wear this more and also it's kind of hard to see this if he's comfortable doing it and there's no more gender stereotypes anymore where people say that corsets are only for girls so it overall just seems like a great thing to suggest or even something to want to see. Now this leads to the conversation of is it okay for the community to potentially sexualize or imagine the K-pop idol doing less gender specific things? Is a corset automatically sexual? That's up for debate. So I won't give too much of my thought on that as I'm not entirely sure if it is or isn't. We've seen a lot of people who wear corsets they tend to be more so portraying a more sexual side, so it's not unheard of for it to get associated with that. But I don't know if that was ever the intent of why a corset was ever created. I think it was just made to fit into a dress. Now, people like to imagine their favorite K-pop idol wearing less gender-specific things because they think it's hot. They think it's cool. They think it's rebellious. And Jungkook has already had tattoos and he smokes, so adding on more of these goth or untraditional things would look hot. But then there's a lot of people who think that this tends to ruin the image of a K-pop idol who is maybe trying to portray a more innocent thing. And that's where things need to stop because there is no trying to portray an innocent thing. There is not a single person on this planet that would be over the age of 20 that would be considered innocent. You'd have to literally live in a box in a basement somewhere and like never seen or met a single person. There exist so many movies and films where you see someone who has been sheltered their entire life and forced to remain innocent end up being and very not innocent because they've never been able to explore that side of them. So it's very unrealistic to expect that a K-pop idol is going to have this perfectly clean image for their entire life and a clean image in the eyes of K-pop fans like someone who doesn't smoke, drink, curse, who's just like a mannequin. The moment they're off stage, they just stand by their wall and do nothing. Whereas if they're human, they're going to do things. And any of those things could be seen as not pure or not innocent. I think a lot of people are also missing him a lot that they want to imagine him in various situations or hoping that when he does make his comeback in the near future, that he will take on some of these suggestions. And then some other people are just upset because he's not around and they want to be upset at something. Well, it's something that people were also upset about because they believe that he might be a bit depressed in the military. And this is understandable as if you're a creative person, you just want to make creative things and you're kind of stuck in a not creative position, he might feel like he's a bit depressed or a little sad. So recently he did make a post over on Weverse and he talked about his experience recently and people will have a lot of opinions on this. He made an update talking about that. He is doing really well. He has been working out, he has been cooking and cleaning and he also notes that he misses everyone a lot and that it was already mid-March, meaning that he will see everyone very soon and he feels like time has been flying by. One part of this that made people believe that he was very depressed in the military was he ended his post by saying the word unity. People think that this means that he is monitoring everything that is going on online and can see all the posts made against the BTS members. Now if you're not aware fully 100% what this means and why he would say unity after seeing what's been posted online, let me explain. A lot of people have been posting to no end about how the BTS members won't unite and that Jungkook himself needs to go solo. Basically saying to leave all the BTS members and just go. Other people are thinking that maybe he has been upset or depressed in the military after seeing these comments. I wanted to come out and make it clear that he is going to work hard to keep the group together and it can be kind of frustrating and depressing to see all of your hard work and all of your efforts just to be together, just to be with BTS, only to see all of that ignored and people assuming that you're going to leave the group. There's nothing holding Jungkook together. There really isn't. In fact, if Jungkook was so bad 
intent on leaving and going solo, he really wouldn't even care what the other members have to say about him going solo. He would just do it. And he probably wouldn't care about what other people would say about him going solo either as when his solo career happened, he was doing fantastic. So he would be fully aware that he would be amazing by himself. I personally would definitely consider people who go against the idea of unity and go against what Jungkook wants as someone who doesn't support the group or support him. He clearly wants to be with the group and he wants nothing more than for everyone to come together and start making music again. He is fairly happy and so I don't necessarily think he is depressed, but he could be depressed in the military as it's kind of depressing to have to wait so long to start to do the thing that you love again. Personally, I can't really imagine how he must feel. I know it must feel great to serve your country, but I would imagine that there is this huge innate drive to want to perform again. You see how all the members felt during lockdown. They were not happy about this idea of them not being able to perform in front of a live audience and they still were able to have their creative stuff fulfilled because they were still able to make music and at least perform in a not live setting. However, now that they're not even able to do any of that, can you just imagine how they must feel? However, yes, he has not really been working his normal job, but he has still been able to sort of take a break. And I got to be honest, him being in the military is probably a lot easier than if you were to go on tour because touring is a very strenuous job. Now we know that he has been having fun because if you're in the military, you don't have to go to the military every day. You can still on your occasion have time off. So people were seeing that he was recently very active over on TikTok and people were very excited about that because he was liking some videos and leaving some comments. And now if you're unaware, Jungkook's TikTok is open to the public and that means his likes are open for anyone to see. So anything he likes and anything he comments, people would see. And that's sort of his way of making content, right? Because when you default open a TikTok account, your likes are private. So he had to go in and open those likes to make it public just so that there was content to see on his page. There is a reason why people would stick around on his page. He ended up liking a song that made a lot of references to the color blue and it was this silhouette image of an artist singing and it was very well sung. This was a very catchy song and it was an original song and people were saying that the lyrics of the song reminded them of a special someone. Specifically the community who ships Tang and Jungkook together were saying that this song was about Tang, especially since Tang has a song on his album called Blue. The song also talks about missing a person, so people were then equating these lyrics to basically say that Jungkook misses Tang a lot. And now the reason why I thought that this post was initially deleted and what was going on with that was because when you go over on my phone and check the TikTok account that Jungkook uses, you'll see that the last thing that he liked was something from ages ago. And in fact, I was seeing that from some other people as well. Like there were a lot of posts over on Twitter saying all of the new things that he was liking. However, I couldn't see any of those things and neither could some of the other people. However, I would imagine that it's real because how else is everyone getting these screenshots, right? So maybe it's just that my phone is old. Of course, I don't think that they're necessarily lovers or anything like that, but I do think Jungkook misses everyone and I don't think that it's exclusively just one person. Of course, he chose to enlist with Jimin. That means that he doesn't want to be alone and he would prefer to enlist with someone and I'm sure he would have preferred to enlist in a buddy system of all seven members if he could. And I know a lot of people are going to want to use this as a way to say that he is very soft and he is such a sensitive boy and that, oh, he's just a baby. But I don't think that that's true either. I think that like anyone is just going to want to do something new with another person. Like I would much rather do anything that could potentially be hard with people that I already know and love. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.